News. Liz Heinehe is here with us. Always great to see you. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. Where do you want to start? Uh, I'm going to start. We are. I'm going to give you guys these bottles. Okay. okay. We're going to start. It. This one has some cow confetti in it. That, that matches <laughs> so, up with which, right. wait, wait, so right. quick. You were just giving rave reviews of the new movie. You okay, so I saw Twisters peak. last yeah. night. I loved it. Yeah. It's so exciting. My daughter was like, the whole yeah. time. Um, the, the science is very, actually, except for a few, you know, outlandish yes. things, the science yeah. is pretty accurate. <laughs> okay. The equipment they use is, Joseph could probably tell you more about this than me. Yeah. But if your kids want to try to make a vortex at home, yeah. you know, after they see the yeah. movie, they're excited. You can just take two two-liter bottles, use duct tape okay. so they don't leak, mm -hmm. tape yep. them together. You don't need yep. anything fancy. I'm going to just tell Heather what to do, and yep. then she, you can do it. it. So you start, you turn it upside down, you start spinning this, you make a tornado, go okay. ahead and grab it. And a vortex will form. <laughs> oh, he's so got cool. the, the cows flying there around. They are. Oh, that's so yep. exciting. You spin, yep. You so so gotta spin the top. Yep. You see, you see Joseph has a good Hours. one. And then I turn it Hours around. Hours of entertainment. Yeah, you that actually spin you actually spin the top. And there then a vortex. There you go, Heather. Oh, see? There you get the go. vortex in the top of the bottle. Oh, Joseph has yeah. a good one there. Oh, that's cool. But it's so a cool that, way for kids to see so how a vortex uh, can oh, form. Yeah. Joseph is going to quickly explain to you that what is a tornado, it, it Joseph? Essentially, it's just a rapid uh, column of air, and it has to touch the ground, though. If not, it's just going to be a funnel class when it's coming out of the cloud. It has to touch the ground, but it's just a violent rotating column of air. That's yeah, the way to put it. Really. They're like the most violent windstorms on Earth, right? Mm -hmm. Which is super exciting. So if you're caught in a tornado, you've probably heard you should not park in oh, an please underpass. Preach. Yeah. Please preach. Okay, so <laughs> this is the biggest problem. I'm going to just demonstrate this using a, an old Bernoulli effect um, demo. So this ping pong ball is suspended because the air pressure is lower in a fast moving stream of air. Mm -hmm. Right. But if we funnel this air through a narrower right. opening, like for example, an overpass, the air actually speeds up and accelerates. Oh, and accelerates it's just good, right? debris. Right. And that's so, what happens. So yeah. that's why it's overpass. super dangerous to be in an overpass. Yeah. Woo! There you go. During a tornado. Okay, we've yeah, got about a minute. Okay, so oh, really right quickly. Okay, so I'm gonna have a couple of you come around. I'm gonna pour some dry. So here. I have dry ice in these jars. Uh -huh. I can stay behind. Yeah. I'm going to pour some warm water to get some carbon dioxide vapor. Okay. This is water vapor. Okay. You have a fan. And we have fans that we're going to turn upside down. So we're drawing the air up, right? Mm -hmm. Turn them on high speed. We're going to hold them the over. Here, come on the side so people can see. Hold it over there. And okay. let's, we're going to try to form a little vortex. Bring it all the way down. OK, now bring it up slowly, really slowly. Keep going. Now just hold it there for a second. Ooh, did I, I don't fail? Know if I have it on high. No, the, the, the problem is if the air is moving around too much. Ooh, okay, I'm going to add a little more you warm water. But oh, like tornadoes, like it's right scientists there. don't really understand exactly how tornadoes form. Yeah, pulled it up a little, pulled up slowly. Oh, there we go. Oh, so yeah, close see that. to see it, Joseph. Yeah. yeah, there's just a little too much wind, a little too much air movement in here, but it's okay. super cool. A vortex will form. Oh my God, I love and, that. Yeah, and actually you can, <laughs> you can get them to like rope way out. But it's just another cool way that kids can um, look at air movement. Perspective, yeah. yeah. And I turned this it is off, actually, Liz, I it oh off. yeah, that's right. Yeah. There you go. There Scientists you go. There don't goes. really understand there how tornadoes form, so um, they know go. the conditions required for tornadoes to form. But I got it. There we go. Did you get one? Yeah. You got it. Okay. okay, Liz, oh. thank you, anyway, thank you. Anyway, not to play with it. <laughs> Tornadoes are tricky things. Unpredictable, right? <laughs> you can see more of Liz's uh, experiments, kitchenpantryscientist.com.